Welcome back to Wasteland 2. It's time to leave Rodia, go back to Santa Fe Springs, and basically manage our inventory, which is incredibly full and filled with garbage now. And also go see if we can upgrade our suits, because now we should have enough cat litter to do so. And I'm assuming Woodson would be the one to do the thing? To upgrade our suits? Literally every single member of my party is nearly overburdened. Uh, hi? Who, who are you people? Erden and Brother Thomas. I don't believe they were there before. Hey. Heard you on the radio the other night instead of Mr. Manor's usual crap, and decided I'd come down and sign up. Oh. Hello. A beefy young man in a black t-shirt and a studded leather vest. Wait, a black t-shirt and a studded leather vest? What are you talking about? He, he's not wearing a shirt at all. He's got, like, straps on and that's it. He has short brown hair. No, his hair's actually kind of purple. Oh, forget it. I'm going to stop. I, I just need to stop reading the descriptions of people and comparing it to how they actually look because they just, like, almost never agree. He's got brown hair, green eyes, and an X drawn on his forehead with eyeliner. I got the skills and I'm ready to kills. I added the kills in because it rhymed. Yeah. Um, you know there's more to this job than killing, right? For you guys, maybe. But that's what I'm here for. I like killing things. It's fun. Okay. I don't know if we want you. I'm not quite sure what he's offering either. Does he want to join the Rangers? Like, in general? Or does he want to join us as a party member? I feel like he wants to join us as a party member. You heard our recruiting message? Yeah. Said you were taking over Los Angeles or some shit. Well, I don't really care about that. But if you're making enemies, Erton's the guy you want backing you up. I'm a one-man army, bro. So, you don't care what our mission is. All I care about is getting busy with my gun. You need a guy like me. Great. You don't? I'll go back to my mom. Uh, I mean, my mob. And do my kill in there. Did you say you'd go back to your mom? Fuck you, dude. I did not say that. I'm hard, see? I worship Satan. Okay. Uh, what are your skills? Heavy weapons, blades, punching things really hard? Hmm. If you need to scare the shit out of somebody, I have the seething demon blood of the Dark Lord running through my veins. So I got that covered too. The Dark Lord? The Dark Lord, you know, Satan. I read all about him in a paperback I found. Then I killed a goat, and now I'm the baddest dude in the Los Angeles swamps. He said I was. Who's he? Dude, where's your listening? Satan! He came to me in a dream and told me I was awesome. Alright, you sound like a perfectly well-adjusted dude. You're hired! Okay, what... Yeah, what skills do you actually have? You have heavy weapons, bladed weapons, and hard ass. Okay, bladed weapons, don't care about. Heavy weapons, that's cool. Because I don't have anybody who has that. And he also has hard ass, but he's so bad at hard ass that he'd be completely useless at that for a really long time. Four hard ass is not going to pass any skill checks in this area. No way. High awareness, high coordination. Hmm. Is nine heavy weapons more usable than Lex Canium's ten mechanical repair? I don't think so. I mean, that's the only thing I want Lex Canium for. Alarm disarming? Don't give a shit. Computer science? Already got it covered. Field medic? Already got it covered. The only thing he's useful for is mechanical repair. And as far as fighting goes, he's completely useless. So literally, the only use for him is like a distraction and mechanical repair. And of course, uh, carrying stuff. And this guy, the only thing he would be useful 
for would be heavy weapons. Which is nice, but I'm not really having a problem with combat. So I think I'm going to stick with the mechanical repair because that's actually fairly important. You guys suck. Well, you suck. And what about you? Do you want to join too? A tall bearded man in well-worn combat armor waits for you. A machine gun at his hip. His face is as stern and hard as a granite statue, and his hair is long and gray. His hair is not long, and it's not gray. <clears throat> anyway, a pair of glasses sit tightly on his badly sunburnt nose. Name's Neil Thomas. If you are what you say you are, I'm here to sign up. You heard our message? Uh-huh. When the old rodeo transmitters start broadcasting again, if you're really set on cleaning up this town, I'm interested. Particularly if you're going after the God's Militia. You have a beef with the God's Militia? I used to run with them. Signed up because they said they wanted to make the world a better place. They lied. All their talk of God and doing good is just an excuse to kill whoever gets in their way. They kill for power. They kill for greed. They kill for the love of killing. I killed a few of them on my way out, but not enough. Not nearly enough. Well, it just so happens I don't think the God's Militia like me very much either, and I don't like them very much. Uh, you're not going to go crazy and start shooting priests as soon as you see them, are you? I'm a good soldier. I follow orders. I won't shoot until you tell me to shoot. But if you side with those hypocrites, I'm gone. Fair warning. Oh, I'm not going to side with them. Welcome aboard. Okay, what do you have? Submachine guns. Don't need it. Surgeon. Don't need it. Field medic. Don't need it. You're useless. Goodbye. Guess I placed too much faith in you. What? You can still stay. Just because I'm not actually going to take you with me right now. Jeez. Okay, I believe it is now time to manage my inventory. Where's Pistol Pete? He seems to have left. Damn. Alright, you have basically unlimited monies, which is good, because I have a lot of stuff to sell you. Alright, so I'm going to sell my stuff and reduce everybody's... Oh god, he's angry. Fine, fuck you and your dumb face and ugly eyes! Uh, sorry, I, I didn't mean that. Please, buy something. Please? Okay, you're kind of crazy, but you have a lot of money, so, um, I can't really afford to let you go and tell you to fuck off. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to manage my inventory and I'll be right back. Okay, sold a massive amount of stuff. Three of my people are still nearly overloaded, though, and the reason for that, I think, is just because of the cat litter. Because we do have 56 pounds of cat litter, plus we do have a bag of zeolite, too. On someone, I don't remember who. Who had that? Uh, it's you. Yeah, so I've also got 10 pounds of zeolite. So I think that's what's weighing them down, despite the fact that I've sold everything that I can think of. But, um, yeah, I just cleaned out everybody's inventory, sold a bunch of stuff, lots of weapons, mods. Um, no real junk, per se. Actually, sold nothing that was titled under junk, but I did sell, like, a bunch of clothes and stuff, which is basically junk because it doesn't really have any practical use. And I took, I took a look at his weapons and stuff like that, and he didn't have anything I was interested in that I don't already have. Unfortunately, I still can't find a good replacement weapon that I'm happy with for Pazepi's energy weapon. I don't like this mason cannon. It just takes up too much AP. But I can't find a good replacement for some reason. Um, but one thing that I did buy was more Kevlar armor replace what Helen was wearing, which gave her four armor. So this gives her a plus five armor. So a little minor upgrade there. A little bit more survivability. And, well, that's pretty much it. I also shoved a bunch of trinkets that I don't think will ever be useful in my storage container, as well as a bunch of quest items for quests that I don't think I'm ever going to touch again. Just shoved all that in there. And I also realized that Pazepi doesn't even have a trinket. I need to do something about that. What should I give her? 
I suppose a trinket that only has pluses and no minuses. Oh, you know what? I have an idea. I do believe I have a trinket that actually Im increases the carrying capacity of someone. I have no idea what the hell it looks like. I don't remember. Uh, It's in here. Somewhere, I think. What the hell did it look like? Was it like a backpack? Oh, is it this? Oh, it reduces your combat speed. That's right. Hmm. Plus 20 max water carry. That's irrelevant. But the plus 20 pounds carry weight is pretty nice. Eh. I don't need it. Yeah, do I have any trinkets that are just pluses? I think they mostly have trade-offs. There's plus one leadership. That doesn't really matter. Not for her. Plus one animal whisperer. That doesn't matter. Hmm. You know, I might, I might just give it to her. I don't know how much minus 0 0.4 or 0 0.04. Yeah, 0 0.4. I'm not sure how big of a hit that is to combat speed. It might not be much. Let's try it. Let's see if we can get our rad suits upgraded. Hello, Woodson. How's it going, Rangers? Found any cat litter? Mm-hmm. Oh god, now I have to track it all down. Alright, this is gonna take a massive load off our shoulders. And there you go. Excellent. This is great. I'll get to work on upgrading those suits right away. I'll give you a call on the radio when they're done. Anything else I can help you with? Judging by the complete lack of options, I would say probably not. Goodbye. Now I have to wait for a slow ass. Damn it. I don't think I really have anything specific to do. Um, I suppose I could just wander around and see if I can find something. I do have a bunch of quests, but, like, I don't really know what to do with them, and I don't really care that much. Like, find a toaster heating element. That, I, there's nowhere specific I can look. The goat problem, I have no idea where I'm going to find milking gloves. Help Jonathan Gitlin prove his innocence. I, I don't know how I didn't solve that quest, given what I did, but it just never popped up as an option, so I don't know what's up with that. Don't want to do that. Again, with that, I just don't have it. Don't know where to go, just going to have to stumble across it. Old woman stolen cows. Um, I believe those are below the radiation barrier, so I don't think I can do that. So I might just go exploring. I could go back to Cerritos. Helen is still overburdened. Damn, it's because of that freaking weapon, this anti-material rifle. I'm not getting rid of it, though. It's too damn sexy. Echo 1, this is Santa Bay Base. Come in. Don't tell me you just finished my suit. Roger, Echo 1. Got an easy one for you. Caller says their settlement is under attack by one synth. Repeat, one. After taking on a dozen of those fuckers, this should be a walk in the park for you. Sending coordinates to you now. Copy. Copy. 10-4, Echo 1. Proceed with caution and advise when complete. Santa Fe. Oops, I, I didn't mean to cut him off. I'm sorry, Woodson, don't hate me. Hmm, only one synth, huh? I feel like there might be more to this than it sounds.
Alright, looks like a farming town. What's going on? Send the sharpshooter, 400 hit points. That is an exceptionally powerful synth. But given that there's only one, I'm really not worried about it. How much armor does it have? Seven armor. Okay, so energy weapons are a good idea. Wait a minute. Wait, there's more than just him. Where are these other people? There's, there's Kotsk everywhere. Where's the Kotsk? There's Kotsk in the cornfield! Are they all on the same side? I don't know. Okay. I was thinking of whether to burst this or not, because if it's the only enemy, then maybe it's not worth wasting the ammo, but... I want to kill it, because there's a lot of other things that are going to try to kill me. Alright, energy weapon time. Lost control, good job. Yeah, go punch him. Okay, there's a lot of Kotsk around. Oh my god. I almost wish I reprogrammed this thing, but I don't think I could have moved over there and done that. Alright, it's guaranteed death if I shoot it. Well, pretty much guaranteed. So, let's do that. Pew! Where should I move? I want to move as far away from these things as possible. Looks like they're kind of surrounding us back here. Let's move forwards and in cover. Alright, six armor, five armor. Thankfully, the big guys can only move, like, five steps per turn. They do hit really hard if they get near you, though. Alright, it's definitely a burst moment. There's too many damn enemies. That's not a good chance to hit, though. Oh, well. I'll take it. 99. Nice, dude. Awesome. I believe I have one shot. Yeah, I've got one shot left in the anti-material rifle, but I definitely do not need to use it right now. A little bit over the top. Okay, can I reprogram these dudes? No. These energy weapons, and they're partly mechanical, but they're not robots. Alright, who's going next? You. I need to kill you. Who's going next? Who are you? Who are you? Oh, they're over there. Yeah, I don't need to worry about those. Let's just kill these people. Oh wait, six armor, six armor. Mm. No, that actually is not worth it damage-wise. Alright, forget that. Can't really do a single shot of that because I'm gonna hit three of my allies. Um, 
Let's get into a good position for next turn, shall we? Oh my god, Lexcanium. That weapon looks really cool. Hopefully I can take that weapon off their bodies, because I want to check it out. It's like an awesome plasma beam. Everything I've used so far is like a pulse rifle. Never seen a beam weapon before. You're going next. I don't need to worry about you, though. You can't get close enough to actually kill any of us. Let's just kill you. Or work on killing you, anyway. He's so gonna die. I don't even care. He can die over there. Fine. They just revive him after. No problem. Okay, 7 armor, so I actually can use the energy weapon, but unfortunately it needs to be reloaded, so forget that. Only one of those hit? Man. Lame. Alright, now that I actually have control of you, please run. You've distracted them long enough. Let's get our people into cover. Uh, I guess here for now, sure. Seven, five, seven. Okay, so I can use my energy weapon against a couple of them. Uh, let's just move up, though. Let's try to get some use out of my shotgun. And you go hide in the front of this house. Or shack, whatever it is. All set up. They can run out in the open, and I'm going to stay in my cover. Just plink them off. Alright, this guy's going next, but I don't need to worry about him, because again, he's melee, so he's not going to get near us. Let's go for this guy. He's already hurt.
Uh, I guess I gotta move up if I want to shoot with her. But I can't move up and cover. Well, no, I don't have to move up. I could just... Yeah, let's just ambush. Okay, this should be good. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh my god, what's with the pathfinding on those dudes? Like, that exact sort of enemy did this- Oh my god, that- It's 143 damage, holy shit, dude. Anyway, yeah, this exact kind of enemy did the same thing before, it just, like, kept moving back and forth. Across, like, two or three tiles. Their pathfinding seems to be really messed up. This guy has seven armor, doesn't he? He does, that's why I'm not doing much damage. this guy to worry about. We could be conservative with our ammo. He's the last enemy. He's not going to go for quite a long time. Damn it. Alright, this should take him out. Well, maybe. Okay, nice. Out of ammo, Theodore. Out of ammo? Really? What do you need? 7.62. Um, oh yeah, I don't have much of that, do I? I should have bought some of that ammo. Oh well, it's fine. Copy, Ranger. Echo 1. Congratulations, Echo. Theodore, 8 points. Nice. No need to do kiss-ass. Already got it maxed. Um. Leadership? Extra 2% chance to hit. That's the main advantage of that. Sure. And then Bazeppi? Seven points, nice, okay. Smart ass skill is nine, that's pretty damn good. I kinda wanna upgrade it to ten just to make sure I never miss another speech check, but uh no, let's upgrade our other skills. Let's do submachine gun. Alright, let's see if I get some some of these uh sweet weapons. Ew. I'm not even gonna pick that up, it's not even worth it. It's heavy and it's not worth much. Hmm? Too far away to interact. What are you talking about? It's right there. That was weird. I don't know. What is that thing that just like got pushed onto the pile? What the hell is that? I have no idea. Holy crap. <laughs> that thing is 30 pounds. I am going to break that down right away. This person had two leather jackets on. Weirdo. Alright, no point in getting the dousing rod, because I already have one. Leather grip, as opposed to grip tape. I guess that's like the next 
one up. Yeah, minus one attack AP, plus a little bit increase, a little bit of an increase to a chance to hit. So yeah, that's the upgraded version of the grip tape. Okay, let's process that weapon. 100% chance of broken weapon parts. Yay! It's a hell of a lot lighter, though. <laughs> Went from 30 pounds to 1 pound. That's a very inefficient conversion. Alright, is there anything here? Uh, like, out in the fields? Or is that it? Can't actually move my camera anymore over. I think that's the limit. Yep, that's it. Alright, well I'd call that a successful distress call. The person who was in distress died. And everyone else died too. Except for me. Job well done. Echo 1, this is Santa Bay Base. Come in. Go ahead. Over. Roger, Echo 1. Good news. Your upgraded rad suits are ready. Ooh. These will allow you to get through the radiation wall around Hollywood and Griffith Park not strong enough to get us to Seal Beach, but once we re-establish contact with Ranger Citadel, I'm sure Merc Captain will come up with something. Anyway, come back and pick up your new duds anytime you're ready. They'll be waiting for you. Santa Fe base out. Well, okay, let's go pick him up. But... I feel like exploring a little bit before I do that. Let's see if there's anything here. And this, like, this pa Oh, okay, that was quick. Okay, we're fighting. Found something. Enemies. Hello! Oh, these are weaklings. Four armor. Hundred hit points. You can just snipe him from here. Taking cover on the wrong side. You're taking cover from what? Gunfire from your own people? That's not too smart. Um, I'm not even gonna waste my ammo. Let's just do single shots. Lexcanium. I think if I ambush, I'm going to end up hitting Lexcanium in the back, but let's see if that happens. Oh wait, I can move him. Great, run away. Wait for them to come to us. They are melee, we are not.
Whoops, I think I accidentally picked up some stuff. Ah, well, whatever. Copy, Ranger. Congratulations. Yulia. Six points, nice. Okay, what do I go for? Energy weapons or demolition? Let's do demolition. Oh wait, no, 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 I don't need demolition because of the dowsing rod, so let's do energy weapons. Vulture's Cry, four points, not enough. Then we need to process some weapons. What did I pick up that's so damn heavy? These two things. Heavy weights. It's, not surprisingly, very heavy, but adds to the critical chance. What does that sign say? City of 44 Islands. Oh, I've seen that before. Okay, back to what I was trying to do. Explore. There's nothing up there. Yes, g come in. I'm 200 feet away. Go ahead. Got a distress call coming from near your position. Mutant creatures attacking a farm. Uh, copy. There was something up there. I was just there. I didn't see anything. Santa Fe, baby. What the hell? Did they hide the farm with, like, camouflage or something? What the hell? Salt Lake Park. You successfully reprogrammed this worker bot. Did I? Cool. I'm wonderful. I'm so good. Along the road that runs through the hills, you see a series of billboards, each with a hand-painted message. Defenseless. Harried and shell-shocked. Harper Overton finds a lock. Okay, so there's a lock, but I can't lockpick it. Interesting. to the cows. Give Dupree's top-notch firearms a try. Dupree Farms. Last rocket launchers until Coliseum. Or Coliseum. I don't want your hides. They're too damn heavy. Didn't fill up on machine guns? Like you, Otta? <laughs> Not to worry. We got guns, grenades, and RPGs. Dupree Farms. Last arsenal until Coliseum. Or Coliseum, however it's supposed to be pronounced. But Coliseum sounds cooler. Hello! 
What do you want? Who in the hell? God damn it, can't see a goddamn thing from here. Anyway, welcome to Debris Farms, home of friendly service and top-notch firearms. From a distance. Are you looking at us from that house over there? You're damn right. I ain't getting anywhere near the freaks and weirdos that wander around the wastes. We do business by bucket and line, or not at all. Just wish I could see a little clearer from here. But don't worry. Got a rocket launcher train on the gate. Don't need to aim too sharp with one of these babies. <laughs> Just a preview of the fine explosive goods I sell. Okay, I thought you needed help. No? Do you? Yes? Can, I, can we trade? Put your gear in the pass-through plus 100 cash for a non-refundable deposit. I won't trade without something down. Okay, sure. You try to run off with anything, just remember I got a rocket launcher on you and you can't see me. Okay, so you're a heavy weapons guy, obviously. Unfortunately, I don't have anybody with a heavy weapon skill. That is an energy weapon, though. Ooh. Oh my god, it's fucking expensive. Look at that thing. Although, for some reason, it also says the spaz that I'm wearing is worth 3,000, which seems obscene. Are you telling me he'll actually give me 3,000 for that spaz? That can't be right. That doesn't make any sense. MP5K. It's actually $2,000. Are you kidding me? 450 for a pipe bomb? 900 for a grenade? What are you smoking? Okay, so how does the MP5K compare to the MP5? It's worth less money. It does like half damage. Uh, range is higher. <sighs> Crit damage is higher. Way less AP, though, and it's also lighter. Hmm. It's a massive waste of ammo, though. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. But what about this photon weapon? Let me see. Well, unfortunately, I can't compare it to my current weapon because I... Oh, hold on. I better not have to give him another deposit. If I do, I'm going to be pissed. Okay, good. Okay, I've been looking to replace the mason cannon. Let's see if I can. Uh, damage is significantly higher. Chance to hit is the same. Range is about the same. Capacity is higher. Armor threshold is higher, but that's fine. Five is still not too high. Yeah, that's just straight up better than the mason cannon. It is, but it still has an awkward amount of AP that still only allows me to shoot once in a turn. And it's not worth $2,000. No. So actually what I'm going to do is take the weapons that I picked up and let's use one of them. Shall we? Where are they? Where's my weapon? There they are. So yeah, this is what um, Yulia's using. Which actually she needs to reload it. So if it's good enough for Yulia, then it's good enough for Bisepi. Damage is not great, but it does burst two shots. So, yeah. Whoops. Let's take the attachments off this thing. I guess I gotta put the attachments on it, too. Let's go ahead and break this thing down, I suppose. Now, who the hell needed my help? Badgers! Oh, poor cow. 
It fell over and it can't get up. Oh my god, that's a lot of badgers. Alright, how far away can I shoot them from with my snipers? That far away. Now this time, for real, I'm going to hold the line. So don't go out of control, Lexcanium. They're not robot badgers, they're just badgers. Just stay. I'll just leave you back there. Hundred percent chance to hit with a headshot. Damn, beautiful. Yeah, these things have a lot of armor, so I can actually use my energy weapons against them, I believe. Right? Yeah, armor threshold of six, I can actually use them. Sweet. So let's actually do that, but let's ambush with it. Just do single shots, see if I can save on ammo. Maybe I shouldn't. There is a lot of them. There is a lot of them. Yeah, okay, I'm actually gonna burst. Ooh, you know the Lariat might be good for making them stop moving, because they are melee-only characters. Let's give it a shot. I suppose the Lariat's probably only good if there's only, like, one enemy. With this many, stopping one from moving is not really that significant, I guess. You know what, we might be able to single shot these. Let's see. There's more. Oh, I need to get my... I need to get Yulia up there and get her shotgunning. Look at that. That is beautiful for shotgunning. I'm actually going to burst fire here. If I was to run up there... Um... No. I can't do my triple burst and move anywhere near, so I'm just going to wait for them to come to us. Just keep clinking at them with my energy weapon. Yeah, we're good. There's only three left. Okay, gonna soften both of these up so that hopefully Yulia can kill both of them with her shotgun. Hmm, not gonna happen, unfortunately. But I can do this.
I don't think they'll have enough AP to attack. This one might. Mm, nope, not quite. Okay. We're good. We can single shot now. You die. Oh, shit. I... Wait, did I click on Yulia? I think I accident. Yeah, I accidentally clicked on Yulia. I'm sorry. You gotta admire that shot, though. It was pretty nice. Congratulations. Three levels, wow. Alright, Harper. Seven points, cool. Let's do lock... Wait a minute, do I need lock picking? I have a trinket that increases my lock picking by one, right? Yeah, so I do actually want one more in lock picking. Helen, five points. Lexcanium, six points. Um, alarm disarming, I guess. I don't use it, but sure. I mean, I guess I could increase his brawling skill to maybe make him eventually useful. I don't understand these numbers. Why would level 1 give him minus 5% base chance to hit? What? I don't understand. And why does level 2 give him plus 70% base chance to hit? Or no, not plus 70, but 70% 70 base chance to hit. And then this gives him plus 5 base chance? I don't understand. I could make him a brawler. I mean... Do I care about alarm disarming? I really don't. Alright, let's see if we can make him a good brawler. It's fine. I'm gonna have 50 million pounds of nutsacks and pelts. litter. I don't need it, but I guess I'll keep it just in case. Ooh, shit. Oh, wait, except the guy who wants the shit isn't here. And wait, wait a minute, this is explosive shit? Okay. Why? Does somebody hide their loot inside of shit? No, it's just cow shit. What? I don't understand. That looks like a thing is buried, but I I'm not seeing an option. I guess we helped somebody or something. Uh, you're welcome. Was it the old guy that we helped? That runs the farm? I, he, he didn't mention that he wanted help, but I, we came here because of a distress call. I don't know. I'm just gonna go. Whoa, what the hell? There's a robot back at spawn. What the f- hold on, what the fuck? I, 
Uh... Okay. I don't know if this is like a bug. <laughs> I really can't tell if this is supposed to be a bug or if this is like scripted so that you're supposed to be, you know, like they came in, came in after you or something. I don't even know. And apparently this one worker bot is friendly. I can talk to it. Can I reprogram that? Impossible. Okay, gotcha. Um... That thing does a fuck ton of damage. As in, we can only take one or two hits from it. So, I think we need to kill that first. I really want to reprogram the worker bots to help me, but I can't do that. And I don't know why this one worker bot seems to want to talk to me, but... I don't think I can get near it to converse. So, forget that. And Lex Canium is going to go crazy because they're robots, so I'm going to put them way back here. I don't know what its range is, is the thing. If it can shoot us from here, and we can't, then that's really bad. I mean, the snipers can hit it, but my other people can't. Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to save, and we're just going to see what happens. I'm not going to crouch these people, because I don't know if they need to move or not. Depends on whether it has to come to us, or if it can shoot us from there. Okay. I'm going to focus everybody on it. I, I don't know if it needs to move, though. I don't know what its range is. So should I move towards it, or should I wait for it to come to us? Looks like it has an awfully long range. It is a tank. And I didn't reload that. Wonderful. I'm going to wait for it to come to us and hope it can't shoot. And we'll see what happens. See what happens. Ooh, I should have used her anti-material rifle. I'll use that next turn. Hmm? Oh, they're going for the worker bot that I apparently reprogrammed. Even though I didn't, I, I don't even know. This game is so freaking weird sometimes. Alright, we are about to see its range. Okay, it's got a long range. And it's charging on a character. Okay, that is new. We are going to run up to it and blast it to fucking bits. Right about now. Let's go. No waiting around, let's get to it. Ooh, I can actually shoot it from here. Nice. Okay, anti-material rifle. Definitely. It's headshot with it, even. This is gonna do so much damage. Oh, 230. Yes. This cow apparently can't decide between which dimension it wants to stay in. Okay, it's gonna get to shoot. Like, it's gonna get to shoot. I can't kill it. It has 600 hit points and only one person has their turn left. So I'm gonna assume that its shots have splash damage and I'm gonna move. Away from Vulture's Cry, who is probably about to die. Oh, it takes multiple turns. Okay. That's actually really forgiving. All 
Alright, we should get it this turn, I think. That did not do much damage. Ow. No, it died, my friend. Oh, thank God. A huge weight off my mind. Alright, we're good. We can conserve ammo now. Oh, that huge thing dropped. Octotron blade, what? But it's not even an Octotron. That's not worth the six pounds. Alright, that was bizarre as hell. I guess I responded to the distress call? I guess. Sure. Well, I think this is a pretty good spot to end this episode. Made some really good progress, and our suits are ready for us. So I can just go to Woodson, go pick them up, and then we can venture outside of this little square. Or rectangle, rather. Well, not quite a rectangle if you consider the ocean, which makes it not rectangle... rectangular... anyway. Yeah, so lots of stuff, lots of options have opened up to me. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.